Dash all, guess what just came? What? Look. Oh, no. Oh, it did. It finally came. How long have we been waiting on this? Like five months. What's in the box? What's in the box? No, we're not going to do that big. We already did that game. Uh, this is the Star Wars Razor Crest yes. from the Mandalorian series. This was part of that uh, HasLab that we ordered this how long ago? Five months ago. It was like 2020. It was supposed to arrive uh, fall of last year, and then they pushed it to the spring of this year, and we just got it. Let's take this thing out. That's it. All right, box is already open because this is our second take. <laughs> Grab that. Pull. 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 All right, I feel like excellent. I've not opened it. Excellent. All right, let's take a look. What do we got? It looks like a box. It's a great big box. All right, this is the Mandalorian Razor Crest. Uh, this is something that I've been waiting on for a long time. I'm very excited about on it. The side. The box is excellent. On the side, you can see it comes with a stand, which is pretty nice. All of our other big ships have stands. Yeah. So we've got the image on the front of the box, the toy itself, a couple of the characters that it comes with, like the Mandalorian and Grogu. A couple of uh, additional figures. I prefer Baby Yoda. It does, it does come with a stand. The back of the box, same kind of thing. Um, a little bit uh, different. It's not an actual image. It's, uh, it's like artwork of the image, so to speak. Ooh, it looks like you can, either, you can color that. I don't know why. It just looks like you can color it. All right, let's take a look at what's actually inside, shall we? All right, instructions. And it looks like this thing's packed pretty well. It does come with the stand, which I said earlier. It's really, stands are really nice. And I don't know if there's gonna be assembly required with this or not. Oh, um, no, there's, it said there's assembly required. And so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get this thing out, we'll put it together, uh, we'll play with it, and then we'll uh, give everyone out there our thoughts. On the instruction manual, it says it's assembly required. So remember last time we did the assembly required, that was not fun. Oh, the X-Wing video? <laughs> we kept putting the wings on backwards. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. part of the fun of live television. Is this a licensed product? Licensed product? Is what do you mean? Is this licensed from Disney? Well, Disney owns Star Wars. So I would assume so. You got some tough questions. Is this, is this licensed by Disney? Licensed by Hasbro from Disney. Okay. All right. Um, but let's open this up. All right. Uh, let's see. Are you gonna help me? No. Pull. Let's pull it out. Pull. 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 itself is great. I think that might be the stand. The stand. Let's, uh, let's pull that out. What do we got? All right. Part of the stand. Looks like we got some bits and pieces here. It looks like just fresh plastic. Doesn't it? Ooh. What is this? Oh, looks like stabilizer legs. Mm -hmm. uh, these stabilizer are legs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, some of those um, Carbonite. Oh, it's the first guy you killed. And the second Sarcophagus. guy you killed. It's not dead, but they're cracked. I know I said I wasn't going to have to uh, break the knife out for this, but I lied. Because we're going to need this. I'm going to take it here. It's actually really nice. This reminds me of when we did Sorry, the, uh, remember when we did the unboxing of the vintage series, the, the Slave One? Yeah. Uh, this sort of reminds me of that. He doesn't know how to use a knife. What do you think? He's using it just fine. All right, so we got big thrusters. Here is this is the size of one of my ships. Our carded uh, Grogu and off-world Jawa Elder. <gasps> Wait, it comes. Oh my god! It's amazing. Yep. Here's a part of the thruster. 
I think oh. that probably goes on that right there. It actually shows the inside of the fish. It's kind of cool. Here is more of the stand. Which probably goes together or something like that. That is a huge There's That's bigger, way bigger. The Mandalorian bigger. figure himself. This is the Mandalorian. Oh. We've got a couple of oh additional uh, bounties in their carbonite. So we got four of those total. And here he comes. Yeah, cannons. Oh my god. And then here's the body of the Razor Crest. It feels oh. like it feels like a more pricey Lego king. It feels so nice, this kid does. Yeah, is it cloth? Yeah, and unlike the um the clone troopers I have, which are pretty much the entire upper torso of this. His legs actually do bend, so he can fit into ships. Oh, nice. You're going to love this. Look at all these accessories. Oh, my. That he comes with. Uh, weapons and weapons and bags. Now, there's something wrapped inside this, and this side is plastic, so I'm going to open this up. Let's see what's in it. All right. Oh, I know what it is. It's his, it's his jet pack. His signature jetpack, unlike Bubba's, that shoots a rocket launcher. And we have his rifle that everyone loves. Oh, his sta his staff? Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. A little bent, but, eh, that's fine. And we have his nice old, looks like a six-shooter, but it's just a, like, blaster. So let's, uh, so with the instructions, let's see how this thing goes together. Um, oh. It looks like it should go together pretty easily. Um, you can't get this anywhere else. You have to you have to buy it from the site. On, from the Has to be ordered from HasLab, correct? As part of their crowd, oh. their crowdfunding. Um, R. I. P. The rest of you didn't get this. All right, so let's put this together. It is just such a nice thing. He has a holster for his pistol, which is very nice. So that'll go like that. Uh, we got these that'll go on the side. Oh, wow, that's a really nice holster. Mm, his jetpack, which, oh, unlike um, the Django Fett figure, his jetpack doesn't go through the cape. It's just like, just, oh, wow, it's so nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. And then. So, uh, would you like to put this jetpack on? Uh, almost did it backwards again, sir. So what? that'll lock in that. Is this jetpack on? I can't tell. Oh, uh, could you put his jetpack on for me? Actually, I think it's on here. Yeah. So, no, that is not on. Oh, uh, maybe you put this jetpack on for me. What? This jetpack. You need it to go on? Yeah. There you go. So all these pieces, these pieces here, these skids are removable, so you can take them off. And then, you know, when it's in flight, you don't have the landing gear sticking out of it. What's not removable though is his um, is his uh, helmet, unlike the other Boba Fett and Jiggle Fett figures. So there's our landing gear, and then we've got the thrusters that'll go on. That would be the back, that is the front. Oh my god, that is actually humongous. So it looks like it would go like that, yep. The other one there. The other one over here. The detailing on like the plastic, just my initial thoughts. I know we haven't had a chance that to really play so with it good. yet. The detailing is astounding. Uh, we and I haven't even had a I, chance to see what all this does as far as how these things open up yet. I so. don't think it comes with the dark saber, sadly, because we saw this figure at Walmart that had a dark saber, and it was twenty dollars just for the figure with the very bad plastic. Which lightsaber. which figure was that? Uh, the what his name? How did I forget his name? Oh, you're talking about uh, Moff Gideon. Yeah, Moff Gideon. Yeah. Are you failing? Nope, I'm just uh, I'm just checking out the detailing, and then what we'll do is we'll figure out how everything works, we'll play around with it, and then we'll do a second review where we actually go through all of the details of it, because I have a feeling there's a lot on this thing to, uh, to take into 
to take in. Look at all these blasters. Throw the blasters on here. Um, so the guns are gonna go on. The guns go right here. Correct, right. I was just seeing if you know. I know which way they go. Okay, all right, like this? Yep, pretty much. Wow, those are smug fit. And these thrusters, it just looks so good. So side panels come off, um, top opens up. Uh, we've got the cockpit that will open up. Um, Let's just get this thing set up first. Yeah, we'll figure this out. Um, so anyway, this was the unboxing of it. We're gonna get this thing put together. We're gonna get all this stuff out. We're gonna get it all set up. We're gonna play around with it. And then we'll come back tomorrow with a more in-depth review. But we just wanted to show this to everybody. I'm so excited to have this. It's heavy. It's super heavy. Um, and we'll also have to break out the uh, like the Slave One from the vintage collection that we got last year uh, or the year before, and then also the uh, Big Millennium Falcon and maybe do like a comparison, like size comparison, because so this thing is massive. You can still get these, except it, um, on eBay, they're like going for a thousand just because they're so limited edition. Have you looked them up on the, the secondary market? They go yeah. for quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of those where you can't, you have to get in on it early or you lose it. Um, I'm glad we got in on this because this thing is great. This is fantastic. So I'm stoked for this and uh, we'll be back uh, tomorrow with uh, our thoughts. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.